medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday video. I have my Nicholas Cage collection. Um, not showing everything here. These are the DVDs I've decided to keep but some of them I actually will probably upgrade because they've gotten recent releases and then the rest is my blu-ray collection so um, Ken over at mid-level media I'll leave the link down below to his channel um, I also took part in the Western um, movie month he's been doing different things each month of this year um, and this this month is uh, Nicolas Cage I don't know if we'll get around to watching any of these. I would definitely like to. There's a couple I haven't seen. Um, but really cool of him to do another uh, themed month and include the community. So, um, yeah. Before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do all that good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterbox account. So, here we go. Um, I'm going to start off with some of the DVDs. Um, first up is one that's getting a release, I'm pretty sure. Um, I want to say it's uh, a shout select, but I could be wrong. Um, we got him in The Weatherman. Um, been a long time since I watched this. This is an old uh, former blockbuster rental. Um, remember thinking it, it was okay, but not loving it. Um, I'll have to revisit that one sometime soon. Uh, next up is Peggy Sue Got Married. And remember liking this one quite a bit. Um, so I've watched most of his, his movies. There's a couple in here, like I said, that I have not seen. So I'll mention that on these as well. Uh, next up is Kiss of Death. Um, I was real excited to get this. Um, I think I got it for $5 on Target's website. Um, it also has Sam L. Jackson in it, who I'm a big fan of. So, yeah, like, I don't know if I've said this yet, but I'm a big fan of Nicolas Cage. So really, um, he's one of my favorites. So definitely wanted to show these off when saw that Ken was doing this month for Nicolas Cage. But this is one of his uh, crazy roles where he, he's a little over the top and there's some really awesome lines and scenes in this film. Um, he kind of plays like a mob guy or mafia guy and it's uh, quite a bit of fun. So happy to have that one. Um, this one, the kind of the same thing. He's definitely over the top in this one. We got Deadfall and... Uh, this um, cover art is a little deceiving because he's not that old, I don't think, in, in the, the actual movie. But it also has Charlie Sheen in it. Um, so yeah, Deadfall. Not as good as Kiss of Death, I didn't think, but uh, definitely worth checking out. I don't think either one of those has a Blu-ray. Um, this one I'm pretty positive doesn't either, which is very surprising with it being such a good film. We got Bringing Out the Dead. Um, Martin Scorsese picture. Um, I think he might have won for this. I don't know if it says or not. Um, but yeah, very good film. Um, kind of depressing, uh, but a very good film. And he does a great job in that. That's probably one of his better um, roles and performances. All right, so into most of the Blu-rays here. We do have a couple of D or one more DVD left, but... I'm just going to go ahead and show these off. So next up we got Trespass, um, which is a very good home invasion film. Uh, definitely well done. Him and Nicole Kidman in one of his better later roles and performances. Uh, next up, I almost kind of forgot about um, a smaller role in this one, but he's still good in it. We got Kick-Ass. And then kind of the same thing. Um, another one that's more recent of a film, very good film. Um, another one he's a supporting character in. We got Snowden with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, next up, um, from what I remember, I feel like this one's kind of underrated and definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen. Uh, we got Nicolas Cage, January Jones, and Guy Pearce in Seeking Justice. Um, this one came out in uh, 2011, it looks like. 
um, directed by Roger Donaldson. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Um, this one's not the best, but I still had fun with it. We got Season of the Witch. Um, I feel like his movies, even if they're not necessarily that great, um, he makes them enjoyable. Um, recently somewhat revisited this one and still had a lot of fun with it. One of his earlier roles, um, we got Raising Arizona with him and Holly Hunter and is directed by Joel Cohen. So, very great movie. Um, next up we got him and Elizabeth Shue in Leaving Las Vegas. Another kind of depressing one. Um, looks like this is the one he won for. Um, another great performance, great film. Um, definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Uh, 1995 for that one's when it came out. Um, next up's an, a newer one that I was hoping was going to be better, but still pretty good. Um, we got him and Ty Sheridan and Joe. Uh, next up's one I need to revisit. Um, him and James Caan, as well as uh, Sarah Jessica Parker and Honeymoon in Vegas. Um, next up's one of my favorites. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like it. Um, but I really like the music in it. I I like the cars. Um, I don't know. I just always liked this movie. Um, and it, I was kind of the right audience at the time, I guess, or something. I don't know. But um, I'm a big fan of it. We got Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh, next up's a pretty funny one, and he's pretty hilarious in it. Um, him and uh, Russell Brand in Army of One. I got this one on eBay. Um, and it's based on a mostly true story, which is kind of ridiculous, but uh, a pretty funny one. Uh, next up is Bangkok Dangerous. Uh, a fun action movie, not a great movie, but a good popcorn flick. Uh, worth watching from what I remember, a 2008 film. Uh, I mean, then we got Drive Angry, which is not very good, um, but still... Uh, happy to have it in my cage collection. Another one I almost kind of forgot about. We got Ghost Rider with him and Eva Mendez. All right, next up is one I haven't watched, and this is one I would like to um, if I get around to it this month. I don't know if it'll happen or not. I'm not sure if I'll like this or not either because um, I heard or know kind of David Lynch's movies are kind of out there, but I haven't watched any of them. Um, so maybe we'll get around to this um, this this month we got wild at heart so like i said david lynch film um him and laura dern so i actually had the kino dvd of this and then i ended up getting the shot select blu-ray i haven't checked it out yet um this i i bought and i have i've watched it but i haven't watched this version i just watched the dvd at the time um, really happy to have this with the slip another shot select this is valley girl Another one I had a lot of fun with. This is a kind of cheesy 80s movie, um, 1983, um, but a pretty fun and good one. So happy to have that in the collection. This one, it's been a while since I watched it, but I remember thinking it was very good. Um, so I got the Scream Factory version. Uh, we got eight millimeter. So he's got quite a bit of, um, of films that are uh, with boutique labels. I do not have Moonstruck on Criterion. I need to try to get that here at some point. So, um, here's another boutique one. We got um, Firebirds. This is another one I haven't watched with him and Tommy Lee Jones as well as Sean Young. Um, this came out in 1990. I think it's kind of similar to a Top Gun with, with helicopters. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to be, but when I, I had the DVD of it um, and I hadn't watched it yet, but when Kino released it, I definitely wanted to, to get it for the collection. Here is another boutique one, which I think I actually watched this DVD. I need to upgrade to Blu-ray too, but I'll I'll probably keep this regardless because um, it's got quite a bit of stuff on it. We got the two-disc DVD Criterion of The Rock, which is one of my favorites of his. Um, and then next up, I'll show both of these off at the same time. We got National Treasure one and two. Um, I really enjoy these movies. I remember watching them in the theater. Um, I haven't watched them in a long time. I need to revisit, but I really enjoy the action adventure um, 
treasure hunt type of films. So um, these are very good. And lastly, which I also have Face Off downstairs on Blu-ray, which I forgot to grab. I think that would have been the only one I'm missing. Um, I also have this, though you've already seen two of these on Blu-ray, and I plan on getting the other one. I just decided to keep it just because it's the Nicolas Cage collection. So this is a, a DVD, DVD set of Honeymoon in Vegas, Leaving Las Vegas, and Moonstruck. And I think this is how I watched Moonstruck for the first time, um, which has Cher in it as well. And I remember liking that one quite a bit. I was kind of surprised. It's definitely um, a romantic movie, but a very good one. So, yeah, that's everything in the, the um, Nicolas Cage collection I wanted to show off. Like I said, he's one of my favorites and always enjoy watching his films. I also do have um, Vampire's Kiss, the MVD Rewind uh, Blu-ray on the way. Um, that movie is also outrageous. Uh, so, really happy to have that once it comes. Um, and look forward to picking up more Cage stuff. And I still need to watch his new one, The um, Press of Weight of Massive Talent, I think, or whatever. I need to watch that and grab it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see any other actor spotlights, I do plan on doing at least a Pierce Brosnan one here at some point. Um, I am trying to come up with some other ideas as I'm not picking up as many items or watching as many items um, these last few months. So... If you have any ideas, please leave them down below. Thanks again, Ken, for this awesome idea of uh, movie month. And I hopefully at least watch one of the two I haven't watched um, this month. So this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man.